Residents of Crazy Town, welcome to the Isle Tide Hotel. This is another interactive murder mystery game like Who Pressed Mute on Uncle Marcus. So I thought we'd check it out because it'd be weird, wacky, and if it's anything like the other game, hilarious. You need a vacuum, dude. Your place is a mess. There's a few faces you might recognize in this. Table flip. What are you doing, woman? <laughs> Bonjour. Don't smash it. What the hell are you doing? Have you broken someone's house? Uh oh, hide. Quick, hide behind the flamingo. What the hell's going on? Afraid not. Oh, bitch! Did she just pump air into our veins? Oh, bollocks! Oh, oh shit! 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 <laughs> what did you expect to happen? Did you inject the wrong person? Screw you, I'm leaving. I can't see the name. I'll grab you this. Okay, mystery solved. She's done it. You have my conviction. You don't know me, but I've found you. Okay. It wasn't easy, seeing how you've never met. But her words were persuasive. Once I tracked you down, I went back to her, but she was gone. All I found in the debris was an address, which I've enclosed. I'm going to make sure she's alright. If there's any part of you that cares for your daughter, you'll come too. Signed, R. Price, Private Investigator. Right, well, okay. this is it. The Isle Tide Hotel. Um, tell me about the hotel. What can you tell me about the hotel? Oh, right, yeah, I see. Back me up with a bit of chat and see if I spill. I what? Said, keep quiet. <laughs> Look, if this is some kind of test, I don't appreciate it, mate. God knows what you lot get up to in there. It's even strange when you leave. Calm down. It's only sex parties. Look, forget the fair, will you? Just get out. Okay. Free ride! Fuck yeah! He did just say forget the fair, you're not listening. It's a little baba. Why does this place look really familiar? Are you, um, hey. Uh, never mind. Just, uh... Okay, creepy weirdo.
That clock has no hands. How did it? How is it bing bonging if it has no hands? Hello? Excuse me. <laughs> You've got to ring the bell. That's the only way you get their attention. Ding ding. <laughs> really? Hey, it's you. Welcome back to the Isle Tide Hotel. I don't know what I know him from. If only for our final <clears throat> night. I trust you had a pleasant term, Miss Ray. Um. Um. Are you blind? I think you actually might be. Are you blind? Uh, what the fuck? My apologies. I mistook you for some body else. Okay, I'm guessing he is blind. Come Why in. have you got a blue streak in your hair? Um, I have an invitation? I don't know if I do or not. Speak! I have an invitation. Oh, Thank you. Marvelous. Jesus. I trust you had a pleasant turn. How, um... How can you read the invitation? Of course. May I inquire which symbol can be found on the inside of the invitation? You must have seen it, no doubt. I don't know, I can't remember. Uh, a cross? A cross. <laughs> was that wrong? I can't remember what it was. Forgive me, sir. It's just a rather splendid joke. Uh, okay, I guess I got it wrong. You shouldn't feel bad. You gave it a valiant effort. I mean, he has the invitation. What's so... Just because he got the symbol wrong? Cross. <laughs> Did I mess up? Oh. <laughs> How can you just kick him out, though? He had the invitation. Just because he got the symbol wrong, he probably just forgot what it was. I, I was just... <clears throat> are, are you not going in, or...? I take it the receptionist wasn't very friendly. <laughs> Something about him. Hmm. Otherwise, you'd be in there, right? <laughs> Unless you're thinking it over. I mean... I'm Christopher. What is it about this hotel that, um... That's making them kind of decide whether or not to go in? I wouldn't... I, I don't... I wouldn't call it a hotel. It's, it's closed most of the time. It only opens every three years for three nights. They call it the Tide. That is weird. I've heard... Rumours... Told you it's exclusive sex parties. I've never been that kind of guy. You can only get into it by guessing the symbol right. Worth mentioning. But uh, we could team up. <clears throat> I have an invite. I could get you in. I figure that's the only way we Let's can get in. You, you, you would do that? You, you would come in with me? Sure. Well, that... would be great. <laughs> OK, 
Come on. <laughs> what was he looking at? I am back. Christopher, sweetie. For a moment there, you gave me a fright. I thought we couldn't have you. Yeah, my, my friend here, he convinced me. Hi. I'm Josh Malone. We don't. Okay, I haven't got. Guests, but I haven't got COVID. Convinced my Christopher, I won't put you through the test. But we need you to get fitted. Why don't you go get ready, sweetie? I'll see you in there. Oh. <laughs> You'll be following me. Speedily. <laughs> Speedily. Yes, madame. You have a great beard. Oh, hello. What are we doing in here? Arms up, sweetie. Let me measure you. <laughs> Excuse me. Measure me where? To participate or not. We need to start the exhibition, and if you don't wish to... Um... Have you entered a girl? Why measure me? Why are you measuring? To what? see if the suit fits, sweetie. What does that mean, have it's you entered a girl? What we wear. But how we or did I read that wrong? Do you lies on what they value? I create all the experiences here at Altide. A clear vision. Varied. So that they can find the true core. Oh, so they do like murder mystery parties or something like that? Alien. Somebody who can wear them all to perfection. I'll get one ready for you. Go wait in the bar and I'll summon you all through shortly. Off with you, speedily. Speedily? Okay, bye. That was a bit weird. Don't know why we had to do that in the, like, a tight closet, but... Okay. Jesus Christ, woman, what are you trying to do? Give me a heart stack. Well, gold. Gold. Excuse me. See? Another verse that doesn't notice them. Have you never looked up during the swell celebration? Um. Which is why the balloon should be gold this term. But red is traditional. You said that already. But red is customary. Or customary to have, always have someone else take the credit. We need to try something new. What do you think, dear? Choose the gold. If you change it, someone might actually notice it. If no one notices, perhaps you should try the gold. There's a girl well, here. Perhaps actually. I'm no longer needed. Some old relic. Oh, don't go. I wouldn't know how to do this without you. <laughs> Um, am I supposed to do something here? Oh, okay. Uh, talk to woman. This kind of feels like a point and click game. Because in who pressed mute on Uncle Marcus, I'm you just sat there and didn't do anything. Towards the white lace, but I wore that last term and nothing changed. But this one, you can choose which way you go and... Uh, I'm looking for a girl. I'm looking for a girl. Oh my. <laughs> what is she wearing? It's hard to keep up, frankly. 
They always outdo me in the term's latest fashions. I know hair from something as well. I just can't think of what. I can tell she means a lot to you. The way you failed to look at me. It's perfectly acceptable to do it alone, but I think it's best to have a partner. Am I right? Sure. Well, you should find someone to help you. I mean, I guess. Uh, talk to man. Oh, is this like a masquerade ball or something? The etiquette. I, I was wondering. I've tried to warn him. They can't be changed or cheated. The receptionist reminds us all with a single look. He's blind, though. Except that man at the bar, it seems. I didn't stick around to find out why this time. Why has everyone got over uh, uh, over exaggerated English accents? She'll be looking for me. My wife. Okay. Bye then, creepy guy. Why is everyone here so creepy? Uh, one will attend the tide. Correct action is adhered into in the. Oh my god, I can't read. Adhered, ad, uh, <laughs> adhered to in attendance of the tide. Held between a term of every three years for three nights. That shall never be prolonged or extended. Thus, a reminder of das nichts. I think that's how you pronounce that. Uh, one will choose a suit. Correct efforts shall be made on the tide to select a new suit. After the fitting, the suit shall be chosen on swell night and worn for the coming term. Thus, a haltering of... I'm not even going to attempt to pronounce that. Uh, one will, one will honour swell night. Correct concentration is cardinal during the measure, fitting and swell night ceremony. Thereby halting uh, all communication with the outside world, thus the banishment of Duskerede. I don't know how you say that. Purge by means of fulfillment. Um, let's look at the table, maybe. What have we got over here? Note one. Where is room fourteen? Where is room fourteen? Why are all these notes here? Note two. Join me for the changing of the tide. Seeking person with an open mind to peel back the layers and find the core. Room seven. Are these like PM Rosie? Um To all who think the core is sex. All genders welcome. Are these like um like wanted ads for sex? To all who think the core is sex, all genders welcome. Room 18. Okay, this is weird. Note 4. For lovers of literacy and language, I, Jordan Hemlock, am starting a petition to change the terminology of the etiquettes. Ergo, come find me and sign. Well, that one isn't for sex. Right, let's 
go to the bar. It's five o'clock at the sound of the time. You realize Dr. Aniston could be anybody. I wonder if he's here. I've got no <laughs> I like how his name tag just says priest. Tied. Waste of a suit. Um, view the woman. Gilly Sunderland. What? This is like Tinder for rich people. I knew this was a sex cult. to see me no doubt yes I'm Jordan Hemlock okay I don't know who the hell are you heard. they chatter in their boxes you see I've spent more time alone this term and began to ponder the word term horrid sound ergo I've created a petition for the oh you were the guy who wrote that most on the table yeah what do you think of the word spam? Okay. I mean, term sounds better. Why change one word? One word? You ignorant. All right, one Dick. One word would be the catalyst to show their failure at even the most basic and without the use of the established terminology how are we the verse supposed to identify with you the elect perhaps a change of leadership is warranted so changing a word would prove they're not always right. One word may seem insignificant. But what about one person? They put us through all these etiquettes. But what if the individual, hmm? What if it was you? Or your daughter? Or wife? Would you still follow all the etiquettes then? Or would you disobey their orders? Hmm? Yeah, rules can be broken. Depends what they are. Rules can be broken. Oh, if only. Unless, like the democracy of America, you scratch my back and then you can demand a favor later. Right. I mean... And I would guarantee it. Anything you want. <laughs> Good afternoon, sweetie. That is a bad way. Tonight's measuring is underway. So if you could adorn your robes, masks, and follow me speedily. Speedily. The Grand Elect. Oh, wait. I don't know about anybody else, but this... This building everywhere looks so familiar and I can't think why. Um, I don't know which room was my room. Four? Let's try four. No nope, receptionist. Oh, don't go in there. Creepy guy's in there.
Did they say which room I was in? Um, I'm going to take a guess. Seven. No, Rosie. Did you not read the note? I'm not ready for you yet, sweet. Come back when it's time. Okay. And don't be late. What the hell's that? Uh oh, run away. Oh, okay. <laughs> it was that room. Oh, Jesus Christ. Hey. Is this a person we're looking for? Me, but no. I found you. That's what I wrote in the letter. I'm Price. Oh, it is you. You're Price? What did you expect? Oh, jeez. The fuck? Bet myself a bottle of Bushmills you wouldn't show. Heard you were never around. And people don't change. So figured it an easy bet. So those who do, you have to watch out for. So why are you here? Because you told me to come here. I'm here for Eleanor. Well, I have some newfound fatherhood. We're looking to make... Yeah, hey, I came, didn't I? That makes no difference. Well, why did you write the letter? In case something happens to me, at least someone would know where she is. Um, yeah, what is this place? What is this place? They have your daughter. That's all I need to know. Oh, it's our daughter. I asked around before I got here. People stay tight-lipped. Even the locals. Even for cash. Whatever's going on has got folks scared. Or loyal, like I've never seen. Unlike you. This has to be a murder sex cult. The guests are getting together downstairs. Dressed in these. I'm gonna get one, go down there and find out who has her. And if you don't show, I won't be surprised. Doubt she would either. Oh god, the audio went really off then, like she was not facing the microphone. Or well, the microphone pulled away, went really quiet for some reason. <clears throat> um. Um. Are you sure you're supposed to be wearing that? Accountant. Boring. London based, so the commute's a nightmare. I guess so, because no one's looking at him, weird. Do you sweat much? <laughs> what? <laughs> Got newfound respect, mind you. Didn't get promoted once. Bloody bunch of tossers. I told you so. And you said I was whining. I hope you learned something. Yeah, it's never subtle. It's obvious where they're looking. Right here. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. 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 I just want to dab again on Insta without looking foolish. <laughs> what? Yeah, anyone who dabs looks like a dick. So it's not a bad thing you can't do it anymore. After the measuring wraps up, we can approach the Grand Elect. I hear they've even taken a girl this term. Sparrow. Under age. Hypocrisy. We must fight them at their own game. Scheming again, again Jordan. Am I right? Still propagandizing your suit to get into the pageant. Oh, that is loud. You don't know me, but I found you. It's got you, right? It's got shaking like a teenager's wrist. <laughs> 
guessing these aren't your average guests. There's a lot of them. I'm not sure on their choice of room, though. What's up with you? Just nervous. We'll find out. We are in a den of sex crazed murderers. I'm not sure how to explain to her where I've been all these years. Where have you been? Very suspicious, if you ask me. This is so fucking weird. Whoa, what the hell was that? be so on the swell just as the great ocean has one taste the taste of salt so too shall this tide the taste of life to reach the fruits we must first cut away the peel i don't know if you can hear all these random noises in the in the uh, audio but That isn't me, that's actually in the game. And I don't know what the noises are. It's like someone's banging on the microphones. Good afternoon, Berth. Nice to see our body. Hope you all had a lovely time. If you're new, or would like a reminding, the nine chapter etiquettes can be found in your rooms. Or on the notice board in the lobby. It is my pleasure to introduce the Grand Elect. Is that our daughter? Damn, you big. We are who we say we are. Praise be to Dr. Aniston, founder of the Tide and seeker of the corn. Praise. 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 First we have taken the measure of each other. Now comes the fitting. Bring forth the new verse. <laughs> um. Give us your name, uh, Christopher. Give us your name, and we will change it. Give us your suit, and we shall swap it. In the giving and the changing, only the core will remain, and in the core, purpose. I've uh, changed my mind. Uh, no, I don't sorry. think you have a choice now. I, I, I think I, you're kind of uh, fucked. I was, um, I was talked into it. Because, well, no, 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 I, 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 no, no, please, no, 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 no. Yep, you definitely don't have a choice. See them noises? That, that's not me. Is that's the game. Guilt for the term? I don't know what what's going on. Last term, I practiced as the priest. I found it hard. I confess, I I turned to drink, and I uh, I got a tattoo. <laughs> Oh, you shouldn't have said that. Etiquette seven has been broken. To impart manners, 
Your choice of suits for the coming term shall be halved. Forgive me. You are already forgiven. I committed a crime on the previous term, which verse 37 was arrested for. <laughs> they all lose the shit as soon as someone does something wrong. To impart manners, your suit shall be chosen for you. So it is a murder mystery you thing where they all given. they're all given roles. Because the priest said he last time he played the priest. The whispers you have heard of a young girl are true. Chosen by Dr. Aniston herself. Did she say herself? She will be presented to all. At tonight's swell like H U M self? A hearing for all. Until such time, we shall proceed from the measure to the fitting. So they get new roles each term. Um, you might want to get up and... Oh, that was me. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> so what do we do? I need a moment to think before you backwash words. This shit gives me the creeps. Figured they'd be some kind of cult. So did you call the police then? They really probably sure. wouldn't even do anything. Lack of cause for concern said I barely knew her. But I know what she's going through. Can't rely on them anyway. Because I imagine they fought off the police as well. Because well. no one else will she talk. She reckons Eleanor ran away. Flashed me some note Eleanor left but I didn't buy it. Lucky I spotted the hotel card before she did. She also didn't believe Eleanor would have hired me to find you. Five star reviews there. So here I am, stuck with the only one who barely knows Look, her. Look, I get it. No, no, you don't. <laughs> Eleanor may have been taken, but to her, you've been missing a lot longer. Um. What will they do with her? You shouldn't be thinking about that. She won't be. She's thinking of home and her own bed. And what picture they used in the papers. How she's going to thank everyone for looking. And how the only way to stop her face itching from all the dry tears is just to cry some more. So you could just wipe your face. Question is. What do they want with her? There's two choices that make sense. See her in the cute red mask? Mm, That's the cleaner. Yep. Caught sight of her upstairs. She's got to know where Eleanor is. Housekeeping's always a good source. Or the big fella. Dorman's bound to know where she's being kept. Probably carried her in. That's what I'm here thinking. Could try sweet talking her, but he'll need more persuading. Um, question her first because I don't think he's gonna talk. Then let's question her. I don't need you, but I've never been able to put the heat on a woman. Not like that. <laughs> Not great at putting the pressure on her, but maybe if we do this together, good cop, bad cop. Not exactly low stakes practice, but we don't have much choice. Good cop, bad cop. Got it? I'll lead. Okay. Now 
what? I'm sorry. We don't mean to disturb you. If it's okay, we wanted to ask a few questions. Yeah, good cop, bad cop. And you're gonna answer. Oh, am I now? You don't look like the type that bites. You're the king <laughs> here, right? But then you never really know someone to handle their dirty laundry. Told you. I was telling my friend here that cleaners know everything that happens in a hotel. Like that girl they mentioned. This slash your partner? Does she leave skids? Nice. We wondered where she was. I already cleaned up your shit for you. Now you want me to wipe it for you too? Is that it? Yeah, pretty much. And that is what we just said. Yeah. And when you're down there, you're going to tell us what you know. Tell you what? Where they're keeping the girl. Why? Who's she to you? None of your fucking business, that's who. It's none of your business why we just want to know what room she's in. Is that all I am to you? Still some hanger. I clean this place so I can be like you and all you even do is look down on me. You just want an answer. I deserve to have the same choice you all get. Just calm. But Please, still, just... no one gives a shit. No one does anything Keep for me. Keep your down. We just want to know where Eleanor is. Well, that's fine. I like taking out the garbage. I like the pain. We'll go if you just tell us where she is. Look, you getting all flustered. Didn't Mummy tell you not to t tell us where she is before I forget what my mother told me? Uh, I thought I was supposed to be the bad cop, not you. Yeah, that one. Or we'll make you scream. <sighs> <laughs> okay, never mind. That didn't work. <laughs> you struck out, big surprise. Are you always this optimistic? Not partnering with you, I'm not. How hard is good cop, bad cop to understand? Look, I don't go around trying meeting... to persuade people. Sounds exactly like what an investment advisor does. Oh, oh. look. I wonder that conversation so close I to him. The figures and I weigh up the options. And I take it she didn't stack up. Well, we've got no other choice now. We have to take on the big fella. You're going to do what it takes this time. Suppose. Okay, but we'll have to leave that for next time. Okay, this is a lot more weird than I thought. It's definitely a murder sex cult. And I haven't got a clue what's going on. But I don't know if throughout the video if you could got if you guys could hear it, but they kept there was like random noises that kept happening. Like someone was knocking into the mic or people kept dropping stuff or something like that. But I don't know if it's like the audio hasn't been mixed properly and some of the sounds are overexposed, but it's kind of off point. But other than that, I am enjoying it so far. Um, a lot more than it was who pressed mute on Uncle Marcus, because you're actually not just staying in one place. You're moving around, you have multiple choices, like where you can go, what you can do. It just feels a lot more fleshed out than the other game. Anyway, we're leaving it there for today. Let me know what you guys think so far, if you like it or not. And I will carry on with this tomorrow. And like, comment, subscribe. And until the next one, goodbye.